Hey, Briley, good to talk to you. Um, where do you feel like your skill set really fits in with this offense and this program? Um, you know, my biggest thing is just trying to do whatever the coaches ask of me. So, um, you know, with being kind of familiar with, with them uh, while they were at North Dakota State, um, you know, I, I seen things that they did with their their tight ends and were really multiple and lining up them up as a true tight end and the, as a fullback um, split out wide. And I feel pretty comfortable lining up in different places across the field. Um, that's what I've done the past few years. So I, I knew that that was going to be a good fit um, and that I would, you know, once I learned the offense and everything would be pretty comfortable in that. And um, so that's, I mean, that's one of the biggest, biggest places where I feel comfortable um, in this offense. And I feel that I hopefully will end up being a, a, a good fit. Um, you know, the more, more reps I get and uh, the more practices we get into things um, and just lining up in multiple places and doing whatever they ask of me. So how good is your rapport with Skylar now that you are actually playing together? Oh, um, I, I hopefully say great. <laughs> he, he's a great, he's a great person, um, off the field. Most importantly, he's a, he's a man, um, of high character and high faith. And, um, you know, that's why I've, I've always looked up to him, his character. Um, now that we're on the field together, um, knowing the same offense and, and, uh, getting things down and getting a feel for each other with timing and, you know, what do you see here? What do you see on this play? Um, I think we're, we're getting pretty comfortable um, playing together and I look forward to continuing that comfort level and, um, and just getting, getting closer um, when it comes to things like that. When you started to dig into what these coaches did at North Dakota State with tight ends and what they did last year with tight ends, how much did that excite you to be part of that system? Um, <laughs> a lot. That was one of the biggest reasons that, um, you know, going into um, – transferring I was my fingers were crossed I hope I hope K-State calls I hope K-State calls um, because of the things that I've seen them do uh, with their tight ends while I was at Northern Iowa and um, you know they always got the best of us we a couple of times we thought we were going to get them but um, I was 0-4 against them so I, I got to see a lot of what they they do on offense um, and so I was I was like I said fingers crossed hoping because you know I know how much the tight end means in their offense. Um, and once I entered the transfer portal and I ended up texting Skyler later that day, I tried not to text him before that I was even thinking about it. I didn't want to jinx anything. Um, I texted him later that day after I'd actually talked to them to K-State a couple of times. Um, it was almost a no brainer from there. Christian. Yeah, hey, Briley, good to talk to you again. Yeah, um, you. Uh, the question is about the the dynamic that you and Nick Linners could have being two big bodied pass catchers who can really uh, kind of explode. How, how do you figure that that dynamic might be able to lift this offense this season? Yeah, I think when you have multiple guys, um, I mean, at any position, but, you know, in this offense at the tight end position, um, that are able to stretch the field, um, be the point of attack in blocking schemes. Um, I think that's really hard for defenses to really key into. Um, and I mean, in just past us two, you got, you got other guys like Mason Barta and, and Sammy Wheeler and, and so on. And, you know, there's so much depth at that position or at our position um, that, you know, I think it, hopefully we will um, get some matchup issues, but I think it's, it'll be really hard um, and really good for us to make sure we keep the defenses on, honest um, when they're lining up against us because of the different things that you can do whenever you have so many athletic people playing many different positions. On the other side of the ball, you got another senior transfer, uh, Keandre Thomas, uh, yeah. getting his chance at K-State. What have you seen from Keandre so far? Yeah, um, you know, I think as a, a guy that's transferring in at, you know, what I was thinking when I was coming in, it, it could be – could be a kind of a difficult situation, but um, along with myself and, um, you know, the way that the team embraced all of us coming in, it really made us comfortable. So you, you get to see him on the other side of the ball, just play his game and be comfortable. Um, and whenever, you know, you're coming in as a transfer and you're flying around the way that he does, um, you know, he, he's been able to to show what he's capable of doing early. Um, and that's because of the climate of the players and the coaches um, in this program. 
Thank you so much, Brian. Adam Meyer. Riley, as you said, you and Skyler were happy to unite and you were happy to come and be a tight end for Skyler. When you and him saw each other for the first time on campus or for practice, what was that interaction like for both of you? We both, I, I remember the first time we seen each other, um, we both just started laughing because um, we've obviously, we were on the phone a lot texting each other. And I mean, still to this day, we'll just say like, it doesn't seem real. Um, I remember we, we went and worked out um, once school had finished in May. And like I said, we just started laughing and just talking about how crazy it was and how both of our, our paths ended up crossing the way that they did with an injury for me last year, preventing me from playing my senior season. Um, and now it's just, I mean, it's just unreal. It's uh, God definitely had his hands, hands over the whole situation to lead us uh, together to play our senior year. Let's do these last two real quick, John. Yeah, Briley, I know this This all just happened. I think it was late last week when the NCAA announced, in essence, your eligibility will be frozen for, for this year. Is that something you've given much thought to, what you might want to do at the end of this year if you would consider sticking around another year? Um, honestly, I haven't thought about it too much. Um, I'm just trying to attack each and every day and um, be ready for whenever the opportunity to play football comes, and hopefully that's uh, September 12th. Um, but if, you know, something goes bad and that's next fall, then – it's in the spring, whenever it is, you know, I'm going to be ready. Um, and our team's going to be ready. That's something I think that we've done a great job of. Um, but, you know, I haven't really tried to think too much about it. Um, I'm just trying to attack each and every day um, just because it's, it's another opportunity to play football. And, you know, there's, there's people um, across the country, college football players that don't have that opportunity. Uh, if I, you know, wouldn't have transferred, I, I wouldn't have that opportunity. I'd be um, preparing for a spring um, season. So so right now I'm just you know focused on today, focused on how I can get better from yesterday's practice and how I can um, improve today and just get a little bit better today. And then, you know, when that time comes to think about that, you know, I'll, I'll sit down with my family and um, with the coaches and discuss that. But, um, you know, as of right now, I haven't thought too much of it. Yeah, appreciate it. And last one, Kellis. Yeah, Bradley, one follow-up from what I was saying earlier. Can, can you get into any kind of specifics about what it is that uh, Chris Kleiman and Courtney Messingham do with their tight ends that really really pumps you up about playing for them? Yeah. Um, you know, the tight ends, they do everything. Um, you know, they, they line up as, you know, in a true pro set, well, two tight ends on the ball and a fullback. Um, you can get into any different personnel um, formations and at any time you can have two tight ends split out um, as slot receivers and you can run four verticals and you can run um, different concepts that you know normally um, you'd only do with true wide receivers but they do a great job of shifting and motioning um, and creating mismatches uh, for the tight ends and I mean really for for anybody um, for the receivers for the running backs um, and just do a great job of, of getting those mismatches and uh, um, really utilizing the skill set of the players. Um, and so I was able to see that on the opposite side. Um, and then once all this happened, started watching film and, you know, seeing what they were able to do last year um, and everything going so far in the past week and a half, two weeks that we've been in camp. Um, so I'm super excited about that, um, you know, and just trying to do my part and do what I can do to help the team.